The Philippines has taken a historic step by entering into an agreement with the Japan International Cooperation Agency, JICA, for the procurement of five large patrol vessels for the Philippine Coast Guard, which are expected to be delivered by 2028. The agreement comes amidst rising tensions between the Philippines and China over disputed territories. With these vessels, the Philippines is demonstrating its commitment to strengthening its maritime defense and safeguarding its territorial sovereignty. However, it is important to ensure that these patrol vessels are well armed, to be able to deal with potential threats in our waters. The Philippines has signed a landmark agreement with the Japan International Cooperation Agency, JICA, to acquire five large patrol vessels for the Philippine Coast Guard by 2028. The move is strategically important, as it comes amid rising tensions between the Philippines and China over disputed territories. This marks a strong step forward for our country's maritime defense. However, there is an important aspect to note. These patrol vessels must be fully armed. While water cannons are effective for non-lethal action, equipping these vessels with heavier weaponry such as cannons, heavy machine guns, and possibly missile systems is a must. Such armament will enhance our Coast Guard's defensive capabilities, ensuring they can effectively protect our waters and respond to potential threats with more powerful and versatile weaponry. Imagine this. Chinese patrol boats, imposing and formidable, each equipped with heavy machine guns. These vessels are not just symbols of maritime presence. They are rapid-fire forces, ready to assert dominance and defend their territory. Now, imagine our Philippine patrol boats alongside them. To ensure our maritime defense is strong and effective, we must advocate for our patrol boats to be similarly armed. This means equipping them with heavy machine guns, cannons, and perhaps missile systems. With these upgrades, our vessels will not only match the Chinese vessels in strength but also underscore our readiness to protect our waters and sovereignty. A full complement of armaments will also serve as a strong deterrent to hostile entities considering violating our territorial waters. The presence of well-armed patrol boats will send a clear message that the Philippines is ready and able to defend its maritime interests. This is not just about defense. It is about asserting our sovereignty and protecting our country's resources. The addition of these patrol vessels to our fleet also underscores the growing strategic partnership between the Philippines and Japan. Over the years, Japan has been a steadfast ally, providing support in various forms. The recent agreement with JICA reflects our shared commitment to peace, stability, and shared growth in the region. Japan's assistance in strengthening our maritime capabilities is a sign of friendship and a strategic step to ensure the safety and security of the entire Asia-Pacific region. These vessels are also expected to play a vital role in humanitarian assistance and disaster response. The Philippines, which is prone to natural disasters such as typhoons and earthquakes, will greatly benefit from having vessels that can be quickly deployed for relief operations. Their advanced communication systems will facilitate better coordination with other national and international agencies during emergencies, ensuring a faster and more efficient disaster response. In addition to their defensive and humanitarian roles, these vessels will contribute to environmental protection. Illegal fishing, smuggling, and other illicit activities in our waters have long been a challenge. With these new patrol vessels, the Coast Guard will be better equipped to monitor and deter such activities, protect our marine ecosystems and ensure the sustainable use of our maritime resources. In short, the acquisition of these five large patrol vessels is a monumental step forward for our maritime security and defense. It demonstrates our commitment to safeguarding our territorial integrity and underscores the importance of our strategic partnership. As we anticipate the arrival of these vessels, we must also advocate for their equipping with the necessary equipment to fully defend our maritime interests. This initiative not only strengthens our defense capabilities but also highlights the deepening relationship between the Philippines and Japan, paving the way for a more secure and prosperous future.